Welcome to our summary on work and power. So first thing we actually need to understand in our little video today then is what we're actually talking about when we use the phrase work done. Now quite simply when we're talking about the work done we're talking about the energy that we've transferred. So because we're talking about energy then the units for our work done will be in joules which is a capital J for its units. So our calculation there, which again we'll find on page two of our exam booklet, because we don't have to memorize it, we've just got to use it, is that work done, measured in joules, is the force, which is measured in newtons, times by the distance moved in the direction of the force, and that's in the meters. So I've given you a little example at the bottom there with our book. Now, obviously the force we're moving against is going to be gravity, and gravity obviously acts towards the center of the Earth. So what we actually find then is as we lift that book up off the actual side there, then we're moving it vertically up in the air. And the distance we move it vertically in the direction of the force, that is what we're going to be using in our calculation. Okay. Now, if we take that exact same book and move it to the same height, just in a diagonal line, then we still have carried out the exact same amount of work because what one is we've still moved the same distance against our force of gravity okay so just go careful there because we've moved that same distance against gravity then what we find is the work done is the same as if we lift it vertically up to that exact same height to give you an idea then of the kind of calculation you might have to do on your exam paper you'd have a question along the lines of calculate the work done by an object if the force acting on it is 50 newtons and the distance traveled in the same direction is 10 meters. So we know that work done is force times distance. So our force is 50, our distance is 10. So 50 times 10 gives us our work done, which is 500 joules. Now a slightly more complex one is where we'd have to rearrange our equation. And again, the simplest way we can do that is by putting into one of our triangles. So if we've got a second example question there, calculate the force of an object if it's moved 40 meters and the work is 3,600 joules, then what we need to do is work out our force. So using our triangle, we know that our force is the work done divided by the distance. So in this case, 3,600 joules divided by 40 meters, which gives us our answer of 90 newtons. Finally, then, we need to understand this word power. Now, quite simply, power is the work done in a given time. And when we're looking at power, that has its own units of watts, and that's got a capital W as a symbol. So what we actually find, then, is one watt is the same as one joule of work being done every second. So to give you an example of how that would work, we've got a 1,500 watt hairdryer then that hairdryer would transfer 1,500 joules of energy every single second. 